In math lesson number seven, we're going to get into how to calculate property taxes. This is math lesson number seven on property taxes. So let's first talk about how real estate taxes are calculated. Real property taxes are an ad valorem tax. That means according to value. So property taxes are based on the value set by the county assessor. And the formula for calculating taxes is we take the limited property value, we multiply that by the assessed value ratio, also called the assessment rate, and that gives us the assessed value. We then take the assessed value, multiply that by the tax rate, and that gives us the taxes. Now, in the Arizona portion of our course, we defined what the limited property value is, and actually in some of the math problems you might encounter, they might not refer to it as limited property value, but just give you a value. The assessed value ratios in Arizona are based on property class or classification. You might remember that residential property is assessed at 10% of value, vacant land at 15%, and commercial property at 18%. But don't be surprised if some of the problems that you encounter do not use those assessed value ratios. But if you remember this formula, this two-part formula, take the limited property value or just property value from the question, multiply it by the assessed value rate, that gives you the assessed value, then multiply the assessed value by the tax rate, that will give you the taxes. It's very important that you remember this two-step formula. You take the value of the property, in this case the limited property value, times the assessed value ratio. That gives you the assessed value. Then you multiply the assessed value by the tax rate to get the property taxes. Let's do problem one. A home that has a value of $200,000 is assessed at 60% of its value. If the tax rate is $1.50 per $100 of assessed value, what are the annual taxes? So in this problem, it's not, the limited property value is not mentioned. And of course, this assessed value ratio of 60% is nothing like what we have here in Arizona. So we find the assessed value by taking the value $200,000 times the assessed value ratio that gives us an assessed value of $120,000. To find the taxes, we then multiply the assessed value by the tax rate. The tax rate is stated as $1.50 per $100 of assessed value. That's $1.50 divided by 100 or 0 0.015. Our taxes are $1,800. Now, some of you might be asking the question, well, in Arizona, we don't have an assessment rate of 60%. That's true. You might remember from the tax class information that the assessment ratio on residential property is 10%, on vacant land 15%, and then on commercial property 18%. So you could get a problem potentially where it said a residential property in Arizona is valued at such and such, uh, and, uh, and then not, they not give you the actual assessment ratio. But because you're supposed to know that, you would have to put that into the problem. Number two, express 16.6 .6 mils as a decimal. Well, what the heck is a mill? Well, some states use millage. Arizona does not use millage, but a lot of states around the country do use mills or mill rates. So, by definition, one mill is one one thousandth of a dollar. So, to convert mills to a decimal, you multiply the number of mills by 0 .001, which is one one thousandth, or you divide the number of mills by one thousand. So, 16.6 .6 mills multiplied by 0 .001 is 0 .0166 as a pure decimal. Number three. A house with a market value of $48,000 is assessed at 40% of its value. If the tax rate is 375 per 100 of assessed value, 
what are the annual taxes. So remembering our tax formula, we first take the market value times the assessment rate. That gives us 48,000 times 0.40, 40%. And the assessed value then is $19,200. Then we need to convert the tax rate to a decimal. The tax rate is 375 per $100 of assessed value. So our tax rate as a pure decimal is 0.0375. And then we can find the taxes by multiplying the assessed value by the tax rate, and that gives us property taxes of $720. So that's it for math lesson number seven on property taxes.